Hey y'all, Tammy here with Happy Art Creations and welcome to my today. Hey y'all, it's been almost two weeks that I've been able to pour. I did a painting, I was doing a commission job for, or a commission gift um, for my pastor and it turned out beautifully and I just need to do the lettering and I posted that the other day on Facebook, but what's been going on with me? I was actually in the hospital y'all. Um, I had a freaky heart issue and um, never had heart issues in my whole life and my anyhow was a little scary but I ended up um, staying in the hospital four days so if you notice when I'm pouring that I got lots of bruises y'all that's that's that and they had me on another medication after they they did an ablation to get my heartbeat in the right rhythm it was just nuts enough of that I'm doing good I'm a little tired from a medication they have me but other than that I'm fine. My heart is actually perfect again. When they went in and they looked inside my heart, my heart was beautiful. That's what he said. It's, it, he said it was a great heart. Everything looks good. So it was the electrical misfirings. Um, so anyhow, he went in there and he fixed it. So there you go. That's what's been up with me. I'm done with it. So let's move on. So I wanted to show you um, from, let me say first, y'all, that I missed you. But um, from the painting that I did, and let me bring it over before I get paint on. I'll just show you some of it. Um, here we go. Uh, these are the colors I'm using today, and this is a 12 by 24, and this bigger area right here is where I'm going to put some lettering. But these are the colors that my pastor picked, he and his wife, for his um, office. And so, uh, anyhow, these are the colors I'm going to use, but it turned out beautifully. So I'm going to be doing some, I want to use this paint up, so here we go. Let me put this up. It's kind of odd, y'all. Um, and even <laughs> two days after the, let's see, I got out on Thursday, so I rested Friday, not really, because I, I had an art fair on Saturday, but thankfully I had lots of help. Um, thankful to my husband and my daughter who came and we got everything ready and helped me out on Saturday and it was just a short one luckily six hours so um, they helped me out but I've been resting ever since so when I get tired I stop so today I want to show you this neat thing too this here is just a little can I think it's like a quart and you get the big gallons of paint that you use for certain techniques like the house paint or whatever or you're making big batches but they're hard to put in when I mix them, I mix them in these. Well, you can't really seal these to get a good airtight seal. So I mixed up my paint today and I put it in this. I got this at Lowe's. Let me show you what. Here's one just like that, okay? And um, I got two lids like this, this right here. And you can pour it out of this. This is light enough and easy enough for me to manipulate, especially since my hands are getting better. But you can get these at Lowe's and probably some other stores, probably, you know, Home Depot or whatever. And they have a little lid here, and then you just, you know, you can close it like that. There you go. And it's sealed. Um, it's also easier for me to stir. Um, so I did make it up in that batch. Let me open that back up. You just pop it up like that. Sometimes this is an air burp. So, if your paint's not coming out, you may have to open this up and let it kind of burp, okay? So, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing a swipe using the colors I used the other day um, for my commission one. And they're all a mixture of colors, and I'll try to remember to put them down below. I couldn't tell you everything right now. Some of them really were a mixture. I also want to talk, and I know I haven't talked in a while, so I like to talk. Well, anyhow... Y'all, don't be afraid to use these um, alcohol inks. Um, you can use Indico. You can use different brands. I've got um, Amsterdam, Dalla Rowney, Dr. P.H. Martins. I have Liquitex. When you use some of these, if your color is not as vibrant as you like, and you add a little bit of that, these, pig these, these pigments that are in, um, in these uh, alcohol inks, no, acrylic ink, I call them that. Acrylic inks are very intense, okay? So they help brighten up and deepen the colors. So some of these paints have those in it, okay? Um, 
so there we go now there's one painting I'm not color I'm not sure it's called sepia and I add a little bit of black to it it's kind of a brown ish I don't want to use too much of this because this is some of the color that I'm going to use when I do my lettering for the scripture the pastor wanted so I'm going to kind of set that aside I might might put a little bit um, I'm also going to use um, this is Montmartre's gold and I'm going to tell you it's pretty doggone good and it's it is comes in a big monster jar probably I don't know 32 ounces you know um, it's huge and um, anyhow I think it rivals right up there with um, 24 karat gold so if you're having struggles getting the the deco art 24 karat gold well go for this because heck it I've had it for a while and it's in a big jug and I just mix up what I need and there we go so I've got those colors so what I'm going to do right now show you first for those that don't know I use these for long coasters um, I have one here and I resin them and I use KS resin and that's what these look like when I'm done and uh, they go up to 475 degrees um, they were a big seller huge seller um, so were the trivets and coasters and things like that I did sell some paintings which I was thankful um, anyhow they go up to 475 degrees you can put you know you can put your oh what is it uh, hot cups you can put a cold cup you can put your phone on here with it it is awesome I put one at my bedside I love these and then I just cork them on the back um, so this one I have in my office right now here um, just because I need to fix up this I don't like how this this messed up and I did it when I was trying to trim it so this one didn't get to the to fair but this one's going to be for me so I'll just keep it or fix it but anyhow and that has usually a couple coats of the KS resin when I get these I get these they're under a dollar I think they were ooh, 78 cents please don't hold me to it. it's under a dollar at Home Depot and I always tape it um, I just you know I just make sure that the tape is real good I think the tape I'm using is the Walmart brand it's and uh, it just took three three strips of it it works perfectly um, so long as you just go around the edges and you have to kind of do that with any of them anyhow so just go around the edges and make sure that they're firmly attached so that when you peel this off your back will be clean okay so that's all that is let me move that here okay there we go so what I'm going to do first is put my puddle or my little yamo let's get I've already mixed it up it's mostly house paint with a little bit of Liquitex pouring medium, okay, um, and a little bit of water for, um, let's see, there we go, and I close that, ta-da, we're done. I might use it in a little bit, but anyhow, um, make sure you stir it up, it looks like there might be a globbly glop right there, so let me see. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe it's just that it's thick. And this piece of paper right here is stuck. <laughs> I can't get it up. And this mess over here is when I had my resin bottles. I just stuck it inside here and just let them sit there because they always, they always are messy. All right, y'all. So how am I going to go? Let me kind of move this around just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, my gosh. Every time I say that, I get that silly song on my brain. And I don't know. Some of you might be too young for that song. Um, but it was from a musical. So there we go. That's good for now. Okay, I'm not going to spin it. Um, let me get a little ditty daddy. Any of the big bubbles, if you can get these out first, that's the smartest thing. I gotta quit using that. Okay, I'm gonna use black cell activator. My recipe is in my, and that's my messy bottle here, and I'm gonna put it here, and then you'll see what I'm doing when we get there. So, okay, let's go ahead and start. Are y'all ready? I'm ready. I uh, might do two today, depending on how long it takes, okay? I have some favorite, favorite colors. Um, these are mixed up special in a sense that they're like a 50-50 paint with some Liquitex. These, I may have to revise some of my, um, oops, I'm not even worried about that. It's going to be 
revise some of my recipes because I've been playing around. So that's more of a dark, I don't think that's the phalo. Oh no, that is, um, oh, what is it? Payne's Gray. That's my Payne's Gray. I like to go dark light, dark light. So in doing this, I'm going to go ahead and put some gray. Um, he wanted blues and grays and a little bit of whites, a little bit of gold. So um, that's probably what I should have done with the paints, but there we go. Um, I'm going to move that around. What's my next dark? Um, <laughs> nah. Let's put something a little bit brighter. Here's a turquoise. Um, this might be a mix of colors here. This one here or the next blue. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anymore. I have slept and I've had drugs in my body. Here's another shade of gray. Oh man, staying in that hospital, they didn't let me sleep. I came out exhausted. Because when you're on the cardiac ward, <laughs> they, um, you know, they check on you every hour, even though I wasn't like open heart or anything like that. Um, so I did have some lenience, but they would weigh you like at 4.15 in the morning. No lie. 4.15 in the morning. Like, okay, why do you have to weigh me? But the doctors said they wanted to have, or they like all of their vital signs and all that kind of, I understand, I'm a nurse, I get it. They wanted all their vital signs and everything to look at fresh when they came and did their rounds. All right. So the next one is going to be some white. And in this white, there's a little bit of iridescent pouring medium in it, kind of, sort of. So um, I really didn't see it show up. But, uh, oh, these are so pretty. And I love these colors. I might do quite a few of these. Um, this one here is a mix of blues, including indigo, to get this beautiful, rich, deep blue. So let's see. Um, it's bright though. When you see it, when I when I um, swipe, you'll see that it is bright. Okay, and of course the gold. One thing about this technique, you know, you don't have to be exacting on this because it it pretty much likes to do what it does. You know, and I'm gonna put a little bit more of this lighter stuff here just so that it'll pop out when I you know oh don't want that on it in my stick okay and then here's my gold always shake if they've been sitting or stir before you start okay I don't want to put too much, but it is a beautiful gold, and that's probably all I'm going to do on that. Okay, so what am I going to use for my first white baroonie? Here we go. Where'd they go? I washed them. They're actually clean. <laughs> They're clean. Can you believe it? It took me several ways of doing this. Um... Well, hang on, let me get something. Make it easier. Okay. Okay. Nope, not that one. I have this odd-shaped tile that I never used. So I think I'm going to use it. Let me clean it off so it doesn't have anything on it. To put my cell activator on it. I think it'll work better than my piece of cardboard because my cardboard will absorb the paint. And I want to use my paint. Look how pretty those are. Let me pop some bubbles. Oh, it looks like we're going to have some rain. Just some bubbles in this here. It's always good if you have bubbles. Now be careful of your white house paint if you're using the house paint. You do not have to use the house paint. You can make a thicker blend of other white paints and I have found it to be perfectly perfect okay it has worked so what I'm gonna do and I can wash this off that's what's so good I can reuse this I forget my techniques I used to do this so I'm just gonna pour some of my cell activator all right like that 
hoping, let's see, which one should I use? Sometimes they feel better if you, you know, maybe I need the smaller one for right now. I think I'm going to use this one, and I'm just going to do this. I'm going to pat it on there, make sure it's all covered, right? Just like that. Everything looks good. Okay? We'll set that down over to my right, left, <laughs> and I'm going to And always, and I say always, have something to wipe off your, your thing. I'm going to let that sit. Okay, that's going to be more beautiful than you think. Because the colors are coming out. There we go. Here's this. And some of this will be... Um, Uh, tilted or spun off so I'm not worried about some of the things that aren't quite right I'm gonna let this um, clean that off and let this sit for just a minute move that thingy and you know if I want it I can and I will you can bring out stuff like that so that when you spin it like these little areas it actually might be pretty to see what it does now that's probably um, going to be spun off or whatever, but let me bring that up and you can start seeing that these are starting to really open up and be beautiful. Okay. And if things don't work out exactly, you can still take, let me show you. There's a few people. I'm just going to tap it into my paint and I can add some color. Okay? Kind of hard to do it with no hands. But I can add color where I want it. Like maybe I want it some more of that, more of a navy and added that in. Okay? So I might even do some more of that. And just while I'm waiting, see? And add it in like that. Don't be afraid to try stuff. If it's new new to you, let it, you know, just give it a good old try. Some of it's moving, some of it isn't. What I'm doing now here is just kind of bringing out the paint. I may have to put some more. Let me get that. I'm going to put it in a small cup so I can squeeze it and put it on more precisely. Okay? But I'm using my little can of stuff. There we go. Not much, just enough. I need to burp it. There we go. Amazing. Okay. So let's just see what I did there. Alright, just a little. you want your sides to be covered and you can use a spatula if you want to spread it if you don't want to get your hands messy just know that it's going to be spun and surprisingly things look different after we you know do this so well, surprisingly magically right always best to wipe your spatulas off ahead of time. If you don't, you're going to have a big fat mess. Let's see what happens if I spin this a little. Okay, let's go ahead and stop. Already, it's beautiful. Now, am I excited about it? There's some things about it I don't like, and that's okay. So, let's go ahead and see how this does. Let's move it. See how it's moving? I'm going to Put it over to the side like that. See if I can get this. And if you don't like it, one thing about these tiles, man, you can really, really 
Someone beat me. Okay. Yeah, that blue that I did didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it, but let's see how it goes. What I'm doing right now is kind of spreading my cells open. You see how pretty they're getting? Let's go back this way. I'm not quite sure how I feel about this. And if I don't like it, I'll do it again. That's just the way it goes. Let's bring it back to the middle so it's kind of... Okay. So, not a fan, but just because I'm not a fan doesn't mean it's not right. So I'm going to take this little one that's a little bit um, thinner so I can manipulate a little bit easier with it. And let's see what I can get, what kind of design. Manipulation is okay. I might even get one of my skewers, uh, my other one of these. I think I work better with these and just kind of see where we're at. Now, if I wanted to, see, I could still do that. This is still allowed. And that just brought in, to me, a feature of some, maybe some water. Okay? So, let's check. Now, this I'm probably going to get rid of. So, let's do something here with that spiral. Because I kind of like those spirals, right? Yeah, because we're on tiles, going to make that little squealy. So already, I'm liking this better, and I think I'm going to continue it here, because it looks like it wants to. Looky there. It's already starting to wake up and become more beautiful. Let's see if I go like that. Like that. Like that. Again, remember, if it doesn't turn out the way you want, who says that you can't scrape it, okay? I know it's pain. I know it costs. But if it's something that's not something you really like, well then, then don't. Don't keep it. Because you probably won't sell if you're selling them. And if they're gifting, you know, okay. Man, I love this. I'm debating whether to do anything here. Or just leave that. Maybe I'll just bring it in like that. Wipe in between. There we go. That gives it a dimension, right? Instead of just a straight line. And straight lines are okay. I have a habit of messing with stuff, though. I love these colors. Like, I'm adoring this. Now, sometimes there's areas that are just a wee bit muddy. Like right in here, it's a little muddy. So what can I do at that point? I could probably, let's just continue with our, our swirl or a little, because to me this now shows a little bit of and I'm going to bring it up to you, okay? So you can see up close what I'm talking about. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? It actually is turning out absolutely stunning. Now, this area over here I don't really like, okay? Uh, this right here. So what I'm going to do is take some of my paint, this stuff. It's called the Magic Eraser. And... You can do two things. Where is my little blower? Well, I can't find my blower. 
So I would have just blown it with my mat. Uh, I'll blow it with my. Ah, it's going to be hard. All right, let's pick it up gently. And just blow it off. It will settle. It's still a little bit there. You can also just make sure you have a clean finger. Tap your finger and remove it. But I don't like the way that looks, so let's see if I can get it to roll off a little bit without messing with the That should um, level out now. It just wasn't quite right. All right. So there's a little bit of something right here. I'm not sure where that came from. So I'm just going to take that and see if I can get it without manipulating too much. Yeah. And that should level. I really like this now. I'm glad I added that extra blue and all of my cells are coming up and they're looking most gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to check my sides. One thing about doing these is that you, you can repaint over them or you can coat them. Like this one didn't even get any white. Let me make sure it just didn't quite get over that way and I just dab it on um, same thing over here but I think this is beautiful I think it turned out gorgeous so I'm just gonna do one I kinda talked a lot today so we're just gonna let it go and I'll be back and anyhow look I think it's gorgeous if you have a name for this just let me know okay and y'all listen to this those of you that are new to my channel, maybe you, you subscribed or you're just finding me, or, you know, whatever. I also have an art page that you can post your beautiful art. You and your art friends and things like that. Invite them to come on. It's called Let's, Let's Make Happy Art. Let's Share Happy Art. Sorry. And it's on Facebook. And y'all are welcome. Go ahead and just, you know, say, hey, can I join? And you, I will gladly let you in. Remember to read the, the rules and such and make sure that you know you're there's no politics um it's a place where you can be safe and you can um just be kind that's the whole thing we share happy we spark happy at this thing and we're just hoping and encouraging that everybody can get you know get it done um anyhow this turned out gorgeous so if you like it go ahead and uh put a thumbs up share with your friends subscribe if you're not already and thank you to all my subscribers i appreciate you so much you encourage my heart every day um you spark happy in my heart and so today if you have the opportunity please spark some happy in someone else's heart and if you need some uplifting just let us know We'll lift you up, okay? Uh, we're a happy tribe here, so share with your friends. Let's share happy art. Okay, guys, if you're interested in anything I make, including this one, uh, you can email me at happyartcreations at gmail.com. You can leave me a message. Um, it's best to email me, okay? Or you can go to Happy Art Creations at Facebook. It is my uh, business page, and you can leave a message there. Usually I post these pretty quick, even if it's the wet results, so people know what I've been up to. But, y'all, I'm so thankful. And guess what? I'll see you next time. Alrighty. Toodaloo. Goodbye. Goodbye now. Goodbye.